What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm Irie Builder. Today we're going to build a cheap and quick and easy uh, computer desk slash homework desk or whatever you want to use it for. Um, my intention is to make it as cheap as possible and as easy as possible for people who have never really done anything like this before. So if you haven't, uh, hopefully we can make this uh, pretty easy for you. So uh, if you have any questions, leave comments below. And with that, let's get started. We'll go over the tools and materials you're gonna need. Okay, so for materials, we only need four pieces of wood. It's pretty good, right? You got two two by six by eight and two two by four by eights. We, may, we might need a third one, a third a two by four, but hopefully we can get away with just two. Um, we'll find out in the middle of the video. Hopefully you're watching this whole, all the way through before you go out and buy our materials, just in case. Um, also, this, uh, this is 12 bucks in wood right here. So that's all it's gonna cost you to make this table. Now, I, I am assuming that you have screws and wood glue. Uh, so I'm not factoring that into the price because most people uh, who are interested in this type of thing do have that laying around already from previous projects. If you don't, you're gonna have to factor that in. It's not a whole lot of money. Uh, you know, another five bucks or something like that. <clears throat> Actually, probably a little more with screws. But anyways, it's not a whole lot more and it's gonna be a lot cheaper than going to Walmart and buying an $80 piece of crap that's gonna fall apart and it's made of fiberboard. This is gonna last for a very long time because even though this is cheap wood, it's still very strong and uh, it's not just gonna fall apart on you. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll get started. Okay, so as far as tools go, uh, we've got some pretty basic stuff here. You may not have some of this stuff around the house and you don't necessarily need all of this. Um, so we've got a clamp here and if, uh, I'm gonna give you two ways that you can put the tabletop together. One, which is what I'll be doing is gluing it the other way is uh, screwing it all together. And if you don't intend on uh, gluing it, then you're not gonna need this. If you do, you will need a clamp. So hopefully you have that. Uh, and then to go on that, here's the wood glue. Uh, you will need this no matter what. Um, these are screws, I got a huge box here. Uh, I always recommend getting a big box like this because uh, I build stuff all the time and these boxes will last me a good six months easy. So I recommend getting something like this. If this is the only project you intend on doing that then you could probably get away with something smaller. Uh, a level is another tool we're going to need. Uh, these are really cheap, but if you don't want to spend the money on one, that's fine. You, it's not a necessity, but it definitely helps you get your tabletop level. Uh, you will need a pencil. You could use a pen or um, a marker, but I recommend a pencil. You're going to need your uh, measuring tape so that you can measure, obviously. And last but not least, this is also another must. You're gonna need a drill or an impact driver. Now, some of the bigger tools we're gonna be using, a table saw and a chop saw or miter saw. Now, if you don't have either of these, you can get away with using this for the project. All right, so now that we have uh, gone over all the materials and tools we're gonna need, let's go ahead and get this project started. Okay, so for the very first step, what we need to do is decide how wide do we want our table to be. Um, we're gonna need our wood, obviously. We can set our two by fours aside for now. We're gonna use the two by sixes and you're gonna need your tape measure. So, this board is eight feet long, <clears throat> which means we have about four feet to work with. Uh, if you go over four feet, then you're gonna need uh, another two by six. So try to keep it under four feet. And I'm just gonna kinda wing it, and I guess I should provide a disclaimer now. I don't use plans. Typically, when I build things, I just kind of wing it. I just go off of whatever I have in my head. Uh, I kind of see an end result, and then I just figure out how to get there um, while I'm building. So 
I don't have any plans to provide you, just uh, follow what I'm doing and I'll try to explain it as best as I can. So right now I'm just going to kind of figure out how wide do I want this. So <clears throat> I think four feet actually looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with an even four feet. So here's four feet to mark the other board as well. All right, and also you should mark from the other side as well, because even though these boards say they're uh, eight feet long, they're probably not. They're probably a little over eight feet. Yeah. So we've actually got about an extra quarter of an inch here. So mark it from that side. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And now I've got a little gap here that's going to be removed. I don't know if you can see on here. I'll get the camera over here. Okay, you can see my markings here. This is going from uh, this side down here. This is four feet. And coming from the other way, this is four feet. So you've got this gap here that you're actually going to be removing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this in half basically on the uh, chop saw. So if you don't have a chop saw, this is where you're going to use the circular saw. You're just going to do the same thing. This just goes a little quicker. Uh, it's a little more convenient, but other than that, it accomplishes the same goal. So, do what you got to do to get this thing cut in half. Alright, so that half is done. And we'll take off that little piece that was left over. Alright, that's what you have left. Let's move on to the next step which is cutting the other one. There we go. So, now we're gonna move on to cutting the tabletop. This is where we're gonna need the table saw. And what we're gonna do here because we're just going to remove a little bit of this edge, just enough to get it flush and uh, or get it flattened out. Because if you look, let's see if I can get it. See how it's rounded there? We're going to try to remove that. We want it to be nice and square, kind of like this edge right here. And that way, when we glue the four pieces together, uh, there won't be this little ridge in it. Now, if you don't have a table saw, this is where it's going to cause you a little bit of uh, trouble. You're going to need to try to do the same thing with the circular saw. And I'll be honest, I've never done that. So uh, I'm, I'm sure it can be done. And if I had to do it, I would make it work. But uh, it's probably going to be a little more difficult than using a table saw. Now, if you do got to use the circular saw, the biggest thing is going to be you're going to need to mark a line all along here. And you can do that with your uh, tape measure or uh, if you got a yardstick or something like that. Uh, get a nice straight line showing where you want to cut and then you'll just follow that with your circular saw. If you don't have a line, you might start getting a little wavy with your cut. So uh, if you do have a table saw, it's good. It's going to make life a little easier. So all you're going to do is we're going to set this on here and you're going to bring it up to the blade. Move your fence so that it's just hitting. So you want to get it so it just takes off the edge there. And that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and uh, run it through and see how it goes. And I always recommend with a table saw using hearing protection because it gets a little loud.
pretty good to me. So the next step is going to be to take a board, flip it over the other way. So now that the side we just cut is towards the fence, and we're going to do the same thing. We have to bring the fence in a little bit. We're going to line it up again. Bring the fence in just a little bit to take off the outer side. Loosen the fence. That looks pretty good right there. All right, let's give it a go. Put on your ears. Okay, so at this point, uh, these two boards are complete. These two boards have one side sawed and the other side is still have the uh, the rounded edge there <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to leave these two like that because if we were to cut them off and uh, basically make a sharp edge on it then we're going to want to route it when we're done anyways or sand it to get rid of that sharp edge because that's the edge that's going to be you're going to be up against so we're just going to leave that and then we don't have to worry about routing it so remember the goal of this is to make it quick so we'll go on to the next step. We've got our tabletop pretty much done as far as the cutting goes. What I've done here is I've just fit them all together and you're gonna wanna make sure the rounded edges are on the outside and then the flat edges are all flush together. Uh, and that, as you can see, is gonna make your tabletop. Now, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it all together. If you're not gluing, then you're gonna need one of your two by fours. And you're probably gonna to have to have that third two by four that I mentioned in the beginning. So what you're gonna do is, you could do it one of any number of ways. What I probably would do is uh, measure it out so that it's the same width as your, what your top's gonna to be. Cut it, and then you're gonna screw in from the bottom into each board. And you're gonna do one right here, and you're gonna do one on this side as well. Um, I'm not going to do that myself, so you're just going to have to kind of figure that bit out. Shouldn't be too complicated. Like I said, just measure, cut, screw it in, and then you'll be done with that portion. For those of you that are going to be gluing it, uh, we'll go on from here. So I'm going to put this aside for now, and I'm going to get out the uh, clamps. You're probably going to want four of them at least, ideally. So you can do two on the top and two on the bottom, and that'll kind of give an even pressure. And it won't. If you only have two on the bottom, you could kind of force it up to bow the opposite direction. Uh, putting two on top, two on bottom will keep it nice and flat. So, get these out of the way for a second. <clears throat> so the best way to do this really is to get it underneath all of the uh, boards we're gonna be gluing together like that and stand it upright there we go just like that and then you're gonna to want to leave yourself enough room to oops, wrong way. separate the boards let me grab the wood glue I don't know where it Okay, so you're going to leave yourself a little bit of room to work. You don't need to tighten it up yet. So we'll just stand them up like this. And glue it. <clears throat> so if you don't know, wood glue is very strong. It'll, it'll uh, keep these pieces of wood together just fine. When I first started woodworking, I didn't really know how strong this stuff was. So I always felt like I needed to uh, um, 
put some screws in it just to help hold stuff together if I glued it. <clears throat> That's not the case. This stuff is very, very strong. So before we do that, just kind of spread it around. Get it nice and even. Some of the uh, excess glue off here. Okay. So now you're gonna set your first one down. Get your second one set up. Make sure you're putting the glue side to the non-glue side of your second one. If you wanna glue both sides, that's fine. I know some people prefer to do that. I personally don't care to do that and I've never had an issue so the key is making sure that you get it clamped enough and then on this one probably didn't need to glue that side okay so now we're gonna squeeze it together squeeze it together <clears throat> So these are not flush. Another thing you have to do is make sure you get this even, these end bits. If you have a little bit sticking out on one side or the other, that's fine. Just make sure that one side is completely flush and the other side has the parts that might stick out a little more and then you can cut it off at the end. So another thing you have to do, see I'm feeling here and I can feel this board kind of went down whereas this one's coming up. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So I'm gonna loosen it up and fix that. There we go. So just try to check to make sure everything is nice and even. So one thing I should say too, if you get a bunch of this uh, excess wood glue coming out after you've clamped it, it's best to try to get it off right now while you can. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna have to sand it off. You're probably gonna need to sand over this anyways, but it just makes it a little easier and it's a little less work for your sandpaper. Also, I was thinking, like I said earlier, I just kind of wing it as I go along. And uh, I was thinking, how am I going to attach the legs? Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end out doing something like I said, where if you weren't gonna use wood glue uh, to make that cross beam, basically. And uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do to attach the legs. So it doesn't hurt that we glue this, but I would say it's not a 100% necessary step. Although, even if I had thought of this ahead of time, I probably still would have glued this just for extra support and uh, keeping it seamless once we sand it. So I'm gonna grab the uh, two by fours. Okay, so we're gonna take our two by four and what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up <clears throat> so that it's just over the edge. We don't want it right to the edge. Just kind of eyeball it what you feel like doing, I guess. There's no right or wrong way for doing this. And then I'm gonna come right here 
and I'm gonna put a mark right where I have it on this side to be the uh, equivalent on that side. All right, and then uh, we're gonna cut from there. And then we'll test fit it. Now that's good, so we'll go ahead and we'll do a second one. So I'll cut four of these. Okay, change of plans. So we have, we've got our pieces cut here, or I have my pieces. Hopefully you're not cutting along with me because I'm changing plans just a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually slide this up a bit. Here, I'll do it from this side so you can see a little better. And I'm gonna have it like that. So what I need to do now is measure over here and cut somewhere around here so that this will fit. And the quick and easy way of doing that is just setting your leg like this and marking it. Now if you want to get, if you want to be more accurate, and normally I am, but this project I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can. You can measure in with, a, uh, with your ruler or tape measure or whatever, but this is a quick and easy way to do it and it'll be fairly accurate. So now I've recut these. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and measure it so you have an idea. We're looking at 17 and a half inches. So if you cut to 17 and a half inches and you line it up, I'm just kind of estimating at this point so you can kind of see how it's going to look. It'll look like this. So I think that's how we'll go with it. For this portion, you're going to need your drill and you're going to need some screws. And we'll get a little more accurate now with measuring. So first thing I'm going to do Eyeball it. <clears throat> That's pretty close. And then I'm going to measure to see how they compare. Okay, so one and three quarters from the edge should get you there. So <clears throat> the next thing you have to decide is how far in do you want this to be? I want it pretty far out just so I have more room under here for my legs to move around. So currently I have it at three quarters of an inch. And I think I'm gonna keep it there. So the next step is to screw it in. Now, if you, uh, if you didn't glue your wood together at this point, you're going to want to put one in at every board. And we're going to do the same thing for measurements. So we'll eyeball it first using these as your mock-up legs. That looks pretty good. And then we'll actually measure and see where we're at. So if you get one side at one and three quarters, the other side should be at one and three quarters. Yep. And then make sure we're three quarters in. And we are. And we are. It's good to measure on both ends of the wood so that you know you're not slanted. There we 
there we go. So that bit is done. Um, we know, or at least you should know, that this piece of wood is uh, it's a two by six, right? So you think, oh, it's two inches. Well, that's not correct. It's actually one and a half. If you don't believe me, measure. Um, and this, this two by four is not actually two by four. It's one and a half by three and a half. I don't know why they call it a two by four. And then they cut it to one and a half by three and a half, but that's what they do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this leg here, accounting for the thickness of the tabletop, which is one and a half inches. And if we want it at, what did I say, 30 inches, 30, 29, I think I said 30. So we'll cut this to what, 28 and a half, plus the one and a half here, we'll put us at 30. So we'll get the tape measure, and this will also determine whether or not we're gonna need that third two by four. So 28 and a half, There we go. We will cut, and then we will cut, and then we will cut, and then we will cut. And I think we might actually have enough for the four legs, which means we won't need a third two by four. So you just saved $2.68. Congratulations. And I realize I'm not wearing my safety glasses, <clears throat> but I left them in the house. And I'm trying to hurry up and get this done. So I have to get to bed because I work very early in the morning. Which is not really an excuse, but that's what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? We are gonna need another two by four. All right, well, luckily I do have a third one, so here we go. That's unfortunate. Still under 20 bucks, hard to beat. Got our four legs. Okay, so we're at the point where we can put our legs on now. Um, if you glued your tabletop together, we can go ahead and remove the clamps. Also, for the record, I ended up putting two more screws in because I knew that I was gonna end up getting lazy and not waiting for this thing to dry. So that'll help hold it all together. Like I said, I like to do this stuff on the fly. Sometimes it means having to redo things, but it's just how I roll. I don't like having plans all the time. Sometimes I do, but if I get new ideas, I can change them. I don't have to worry about the plans and sticking with the plans. What we're gonna do is line it up and put a screw in through here into there. And we're gonna do that kind of on uh, both sides. So I'll do one a little closer to this side. If you guys have uh, suggestions for anything you'd like to see me build, please comment and let me know, and I will try my best. And I, I do the majority of my building, my favorite uh, stuff to work with is two by fours and two by sixes because it's cheap and everybody has access to it. <clears throat> it's cheap, it's easy to work with, you get great results. This is, uh, not the best example of the great results you can get, but 
Um, I've got a lot of other stuff I've built that I've told, I've showed people and told them I made it from two by fours and they didn't believe me because it came out so well. Once you stain it and you know, you get it cut down and stuff, uh, it really looks good. So if you have anything you want to see be built out of two by fours, let me know and I'll get it done. All right, so we are really close to being done here. Uh, as you can see, these are a little wobbly. So we're gonna add some supports. And, let's see. I'm thinking about right there, something like that. So here's a little trick. If you need a partner to help you hold something, just put a clamp there on one side. So I'm not gonna measure the first, the first time, but we'll measure it after to make sure it's flush. So let's see. I'm just gonna put in a screw right here. So it's right at nine inches. So we'll put this one right at nine. There we go. So that sturdies it up a little bit, but you can see it's still wiggling. But we are gonna fix that, don't worry. Let's do this side. So now on this one, we will have to measure on both sides because we want it to be even with this. So I'm just going to come down nine inches and mark it right there. So now we know that that's where we want the top or the bottom or whatever. This thing's upside down so it's confusing me. We want the top of this to be flush with right there. All right, now we'll do the same thing for the other side. All right, so started it up a little bit. It's not great, but again, we're gonna fix that. So, I think at this point, actually there is one more thing that we need to do. This is gonna help sturdy it up as well. And uh, this is also reassuring why we need the uh, third two by four, if you can see me. Okay, well unfortunately my camera actually died on me while I was in the middle of uh, putting this crossbeam on. So I didn't realize it and I did it without telling you what I did. So uh, I'll go over that now. Basically, you're just gonna need your tape measure. You're gonna measure from one side of the crossbeam going this way to the other one. And what you should get should be somewhere around 46 and a half inches. You're gonna take what's left of your third two by four and you're gonna cut that to 46 and a half inches. And then just lay it across the top or what will be the bottom and screw it in. And now it's much sturdier. It's still jiggling a little bit, but again, we're about to fix that right now. Okay, we are almost done. So now the only thing left to do is to put a couple screws in in the corners
All right. And that's it. As far as building goes, we're done. The only thing left to do is to sand it all out smooth. And uh, if you want to, you can stain it at this point. Uh, well, not at this point, after you sanded it. You can stain it. That's it. From here, you can add other accessories. You could add, uh, you know, something to put, if you've got a computer tower you wanna to put on here or something, you can get, uh, get a couple other two by fours and start accessorizing this thing. But as far as a basic table, this is it. And what did we say it was? 14, 15 bucks? So, hard to beat. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, subscribe and come back and check out some other ones I'm going to be making soon. Again, if you have anything you want me to make with 2x4s, feel free to leave uh, posts in the uh, comment section below. And the only thing left is sanding, and that's boring, so I'm not going to make you watch me do that. All right, guys. Have a good one.